Too many people use the ATM at night with hardly a thought, never stopping to consider how dangerous it might be. It was only Saturday, July 24th when security officers were robbed at gunpoint by bandits while doing a routine drop-off at Royal Bank of Canada, making away with an undisclosed amount of cash after firing gunshots. This isn't the first crime such as this for the year. So how safe are these banks for the average person performing a simple transaction at the ATM? Detective Sergeant Calvin Chase said safety depends on the location of the ATM. But you have to look at the type of locations where you go to an ATM. For instance, you would want to go to an ATM at a bank, an institution in night where there's no personnel there. there. Yes, there are cameras, but you need to make it safe that you go to institutions where like IG or the airport which have banking, ABM machines and personnel are usually there. And only during those extreme circumstances, always pay close attention to the ATM and your surroundings. Do not select an ATM at the corner of a building. Corners create a blind spot. Wait until you are in your car or another secure place. When using a drive-up ATM, keep your engine running, your doors locked, and leave enough room to maneuver between your car and the one ahead of you in the drive-up line. And never count cash at the machine or in public. Wait until you are in your car or another secure place. With ATMs and drop-off boxes as hotspots for crimes, Detective Sergeant Chase encouraged security officers to adhere to police advice. Yes, we have found that, but what we, uh, we advise people, there are some security measures that we advise um, people doing um, deposit drops to, to do. And once they adhere to our advice, they minimize the, the risk of crime, being susceptible to crime, and they need to adhere to our advice that we give to them. And we always encouraging personnel to come in and see us. So let me speak to you on security measures that they deal with safety deposit box and dropping off funds and those night deposit box. Detective Sergeant Chase said there has been a risk assessment on security measures at the local banks and of course we cannot say what those recommendations are but he said the local banks have been cooperative and he's seen some improvement. Know that some crimes can be avoided, and we hope you put to use some of those safety tips and play your part to combat crime here in the Turks and Caicos. For WIV4 News, I'm Takara Bain.